Hi everyone, Mr. Skosana again. The subject for today is still engineering, drawing, and thread and and four. The topic it is uh, detailed drawing. Now there is a reason to perform a detailed drawing. One of them it is because we want to see the detail of the items or the components alone on its own. That is one thing which we are going to perform this. Furthermore, the simple explanation which you can give that what is a detailed drawing. You can just simply say a detailed drawing it is a reverse process of assembly drawing. That means we can't perform a detailed drawing if we don't have an assembly drawing. First, the machine it must be assembled, then we are going to do the reverse. Doing the reverse, we are going to dismantle the machine. We are going to remove the components of the machine away from each other. When we remove the components of this machine away from each other, we are going to be directed by the question. It doesn't mean all the components are important. It is only few which, according to the question which we are asked, they are important and we must make sure we draw them. And when we draw them, somewhere, somehow, we must have a knowledge of first angle orthographic projection or a knowledge of third angle orthographic projection, including the sectioning because you will see the question, it will say you must section this, you must section there. So that is why now we must bring the whole thing into one. Now here I've got a sketch for you to see. Here is our sketch. It is our figure four on the next page, which shows two primary views of a pulley assembly. We are going to draw to scale one is to one detailed drawing of the following components. The components which we are going to draw, that is according to the question, we are going to draw the shaft support, which is item number one. And it must show the following views in first angle orthographic projection, as I indicated. We are going to draw a full sectional front view and a top view. That is for item number one. We are going to draw again the pulley is item number two, showing a half sectional front view with the top half in session. So these are the only two items which we are going to concentrate. Like as we see the question itself, this machine it has got seven components as I indicated. It has got seven, but they don't need all of them. They need only item number one, they need only item number two. We are going to concentrate only on these two items. So now, like I said, the details as we are going to do, we are just going to remove item number one away from the rest of the machine. We are going to put it aside, we go to another item, remove it and put it aside. That is how we are going to perform our detailed drawing. Right, like I said, we are just going to remove the components of this piece and we must put them away from each other. We don't have drawing instrument. We are just going to use a rough sketch to illustrate. What is important is for you to see how you are going to remove the parts of this machine. Now, let's see. It is in first angle, by the way. In first angle, this piece, all what you see up here, it is your front view. And all what you see down here, it is your top view. It means your item number one, if you want to, to check or to draw the front view of it, you must look it here. And again, your top view of that item, then we are going to look it down here. So that is the situation so far. Now, let's see. I am going to draw now. I have used just a rough sketch to draw that piece. Let me just draw it fully. Then I will cut some of the things once the piece now it is in place. Let me erase it here. Then this is your piece and this is your piece. 
and it has got a, a mechanism here it has got a support and here it goes inside here it goes inside no problem and somewhere here we've got a hidden line and somewhere here we've got a hidden line again so we draw your item number one it will be something of this nature now your top view of the same item there is your top view the same item as we view it from the top we've got this piece and there is our piece and it's for the support this side it is called the support even that side is called the support it means this support is, is there this side and even on the other side we still have the same support and then here is our piece and then it goes on like that now somewhere here we call the this and then there as it goes inside we are going to have it there as our support and it goes directly inside let me just show this but i'll check the question the question no hidden details are necessary these are the hidden details they are not necessary i will just simply remove them remove them so we just want to see now the shape outside so this will be your front view and this will be your, your top view of your item number one so what we need here it is now just to section the whole piece we are going to cut it we are going to section now i am sectioning i am applying the rules of sectioning remember we talked about sectioning area all in some of the lessons to section what we consider when we are going to section the piece now from here this will be now the full sectional and as i indicated that at your level they won't show you a, 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 a cutting line what you need to know is that every drawing we cut it in the middle we are going to cut it here once we cut it here the result will be visible here so this is exactly how we are going to section this piece and since it is your item number one it is one piece you must show them now draw the diameter is 10 the arrow it must be a nice looking arrow you draw that side here the diameter is 10 and here now you write nicely you write one that means now this and then it is your item number one so you write it like that then they will give you a max and so on so that is according to question 4.1 you draw the front view and we draw the top view now 4.2 we draw now the the item number two so once again because we must remove them that item number two when you draw it it must be away from this drawing roughly a minimum distance must be 15 millimeters away that is the minimum distance from one view to another i can just draw it here now you check your drawing again you check everything we want that item number two there you go yeah. you just trace it the same shape and i should believe they want us to draw it a, a half section with the top half in section no problem then you draw that piece you draw that piece there is our item there is our item as it goes now here will be our center now from this center you go up this is the top half from the center you go down this is the top uh, the bottom half the question they want us to draw a half section with the top half in section it means we are going to section this side this side here we are not going to section it must remain as outside now here we are going to have a line and we are going to have a line we are going to have a line and so on so if maybe 
they want the hiding lines. Somebody here, I was going to have a hiding line, but now I can't show them because of the instruction summary indicated that no hiding details are necessary. Then it must be like that. So anyway, here what because now the cutting took place here now we are going to have a solid line. This line is removed, it is removed. Now we must have a solid line. Now from this solid line, we must section now. This is how you are going to section the whole piece. We are going to section it like that. So fortunately, somewhere here it has got a hole. Where now we are blocking this item and that item here. Let's just show we are going to have a hole somewhere here. This is that hole to lock that piece. Now, this will be now your item number two. What is important? You must show that this is your item number two. Nicely, you draw that circle, you show, and your arrow, it must be a nice looking arrow. Again, important, please take note of that. Most of you, marks are deducted because when you show this information, you don't use the drawing instrument, you just use show them roughly. That is a problem. You must use your drawing instrument, but all the time. You draw the line between the T-square or the S-square, you draw a nice looking arrow, and here the cycle, the diameter, like I said, it is 10, the radius is 5. It means you need a compass to draw this cycle inside now, you write nicely too. That means now, this is your item number two, and this is your item number three. You can see now, all these items now, they are away from each other. We removed them from the rest of the machine. You can see the reason why we said the detailed drawing, it is like a, it is a reverse process of your assembly drawing. Now, what you see here, this is now inside of the machine, this is now the outside of the machine. What you see here, you see two things in one. We see the same piece inside, the same piece now is outside. That is the reason why we must section our drawing. So in a nutshell, people, this is how you are going to perform a detailed drawing. You just need to trace that item, read the question, understand them. Like I said, in a similar with every item, it is important. There are only few according to question which are important, which you must draw them as your person ask you to do that. So thank you for coming today. Let's have another lesson somewhere tomorrow or if you need for the questions, you will just forward the information or the questions, then we will help you to go through. Thank you very much for coming today.